Hey my Polish peeps, this is Jackie coming to you. I thought I would do a video on my Orly um, color pass that I got for summer. It's called, let's see, what is it called? It is called The Great Escape. I'm sure quite a few people have done their thing on here, but let's try this one too. And then here is what they look like on the package. Great Escape, Orly. Some of the color, how they look. I do have kind of a Skittles on my fingers here, but let's get started. First three I was going to swatch for you is the first one is this pretty, it's pretty, it's a pretty um, green, a little bit of a blue, but it's mostly green. It looks a little bit bluer on the camera than it really is. It's more of a, a teal kind of coloring. And this is called Close Call. So this is Great Escapes when you're doing your travels. I think this is more geared for travel with close call. And this is Orly. I love me some Orly. This is kind of a nice seafoam green, little kind of a very pretty color. I already did one coat on the wheel here. And that is one coat right here. Some of these do kind of come out kind of streaky. Oops. On the first coat, and have those the lines but as it dries they do kind of go away so it's you know these are kind of frosted I, I, I guess they're considered frosted I don't really it's not my favorite um, kind of finish see what I mean is the brush strokes but those do kind of dissipate when it dries so that's the second coat of that one And that is called, put the cap back on, Close Call, Orly, very pretty color. I mean, it's a pretty color. If this would have been a cream or not this kind of frosty, I probably would have liked this a little better. It looks a little bluer on the camera, so just kind of remind yourself that it is more green in real life. Kind of getting it kind of greenish or blue on this camera here. That's two coats. A glossy of Close Call by Orly. It's pretty. These do come out kind of matte. So here's the matte version of the next one I'm going to show you. Kind of, They do kind of come out matte, which is they're actually not bad matte. Like I said, these do kind of, brush strokes do go away pretty much once it dries. Here's that next one, which is called Lost Treasure. Very pretty blue, kind of a frosty blue. A little, little hint of purple maybe in there, but it's really pretty. But um, like I said, this frosty kind of um, finish is not my favorite. So there you go. Take that as you may. And there you go. And there's that one. Once again, those do kind of dissipate once it dries. There that one is. Nice and glossy. I do have these posted on my Instagram, glossy and matte. So if you want to go and check those out, you can do that. Once again, that is Lost Treasure. Next one is this one from Orly again. And this one is called Follow the Map. Follow the Map. This is kind of a dusty reddish pink color, frosty reddy pink color. This is one coat. Kind of matte. That's what it looks like matte. So it's, it is kind of pretty. Actually, these I think these frosty ones are actually prettier once you mattify them. I don't know. It just kind of takes the dust that shimmery off of there that I really don't care for, and it makes it kind of nice. If you like, you know, if you like that kind of color, I do like matte finishes. There's the second coat. Kind of a ready, kind of a ready orange pink color. And there that one is. 
glossy. So those are the first three. And this one again is called Follow the Map. So let's look at the first three again. The green one was called Close Call. There it is, Close Call, Glossy. The blue one is called Lost Treasure. Kind of that orangey red color is called Follow the Map. And there's that one. Very pretty. Like I said, I prefer these ones actually modified. I think they're prettier matte. Two coats and then I put a matte top coat and they looked actually pretty. So you can go check those out on the Instagram page. Next three are more of the cream version of that. First one off I have is called, oops, upside down here, here we go. Is called Off the Grid. I like to go off the grid. And this is a really pretty bright blue for summer. It's beautiful. It's a little brighter than it looks. You know, with all the lighting and stuff, it kind of brightens that up. But it's it's a little dustier than what it looks like on screen, but it's still pretty bright. And that is off the grid. Let's try that one. And there that one is. Very pretty. Actually, it's a pretty color. I like that one. I like this one really pretty. That's nice and wet and glossy. Those are the ones I have on my nails, actually. Here it is, matte. And I have to admit, this is a really pretty matte. This one here, very pretty matte. Look how pretty that is, mattified. It's gorgeous matte, this color. So pretty. I want to focus. There it is. Here it is, glossy on me. Glossy. And then matte. Next one is. This one is. On a whim, I don't know what color you call it. It's kind of a greeny yellow, green yellow, green yellow, I think, yeah. I know they call this kind of an ugly pretty color, <laughs> is what some people call it, mm, yeah. Green, it's more green with a touch of yellow in it. The touch of yellow. I don't know, is that considered chartreuse? I guess it would be. There that one is, all nice and glossified. It's actually a pretty color. I don't mind that. I like that color. I think it's very pretty. That's this one, mattified. Really, I like it pretty mattified. I think it's kind of cool matte. And then here is the glossy. I think it's pretty matte. I like this one matte actually. Very pretty matte. That one is on a whim. Last one of this bunch is this one here, which is a little brighter orange. I consider this a bright, brighter orange. Um, this one is called Embrace Danger. This one has a little bit of a shimmer in it too. Not as It's not as frosty as the other ones, which I care for the shimmer better than this frosty color frosty colors but this one's pretty it's an orange with a, like a hint of maybe a little bit of pink in there which is very pretty I like that one here's it at one coat and some of these are almost um, opaque with one coat and there's two nice orange it's a pretty orange for summer I like that one a lot actually I love orange that one's very very pretty here that one is matte, that orange. It's pretty orange, it's pretty matte. 
and then here it is glossy on me this one you could possibly need three coats because I can still see a little bit of denial especially in lighting in regular life you probably wouldn't need to but when you do lighting it you know kind of suits. this one I think I did three coats and then I mattified it so that was pretty matte so here's that first that um, blue matte that one is called off the grid And then there's that chartreuse kind of greeny yellow color called On the Whim, mattified. Here it is glossy. And then the last one is this orange, which is called Embrace Danger. I like that one. I like that matte. It's very pretty matte. And then here it is a glossy. There you go. So this is the, the summer collection for Orly called Great escape tell me if you guys have gotten this if this i had do this color pass which i get what for a year so they you get uh one collection every season winter spring summer and fall and then they kind of sprinkle a few other things in the middle and you also do get other things in your box when you do this color pass. i think we got a top coat this time if i remember correctly and sometimes you get um nail art i think we also got a little nail art stickers you also sometimes get top coats, um, not even things that are nail related. Sometimes you get face stuff. So you do get a lot of other things aside from just the polish, which is kind of nice. Great. Um, I think it rounds up being like $5 a bottle. And I think Orly has got one of the, if not the biggest bottle in the industry, actually. These are really huge bottles. These are 18 milliliters. So they're, these are big. And I love the brush. You know, the brush is kind of wide, and I, I like that. So... I know not everyone loves a wide brush, but Jackie loves her wide brush because I got wide nails, so I enjoy the brush. So yeah, there you go. That is Orly's Great Escapes. Uh, thanks for joining me in Sips and Tips. I, I have my sips over here, so if you have a Sips and Tips, hope you are joining along with that, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.